Hey guys, listen, we got something very important to talk about. Again, you know how I bring the information to you. I'm going to tell you how it is. And listen, it's up to you to accept it because it's the truth. Now, and it's up to you, again, being a welder in this field, you know you're going to take tests, whether it's structure or pipe. And in this case, I'm talking about the pipe test. Um, here's a quick story. I'm in the test booth, and uh, you got about 12 welders. Out of 12 welders, it's four green guys. I mean, super welders, from what I'm seeing and, uh, and, and what I'm examining. Same difference. <laughs> but the point I'm making is this here. These guys' test was an immaculate, beautiful, beautiful test. From the root all the way to the cap. Man, I'm, I'm talking about something that, man, I tell you what, you can tell these guys definitely had the talent of welding pipe. But at the end of the test, here's where they lost out on their six figure a year job. Okay, you go into some of these test groups, okay, the QC, you get some QCs who strict. In this case, usually the more money you make, uh, the more strict the QC is. So in this case, the QC, he was down, he meant business, okay? That is the hardest part of getting a big money job to me, in my experience. Um, the test, right, no problem. You gotta know your shit, for lack of better words. And if you know your, your stuff, you ain't got no problem. That's the hardest part on a big money job, because again, the more you get paid, the less work you do. I don't know why, it's just like that. And um, these guys are taking, and we completed our test. Long story short, let's cut to the point. Long story short, we completed our test. Now it's time to cut the coupons. These guys look like deers in headlights. And I walk over, I can, I can tell something's wrong. Because uh, an experienced welder from years of taking tests and uh, Dealing with QCs and being in the group, you can tell when something's not right with a welder, whether he can't weld or, or, or you know, something's going on. So, again, I'm walking over the past. I said, look, what, what, what's the problem, man? Test nice. What, what are you worried about? You look nervous. He said, look, man, I never cut a coupon before. And we all know the rules. QC says he want to cut like this. He's not going to accept nobody going back to uh, erase his marks because what they do, they put marks a lot of times the QC mark out your coupon. Let you know, this is where I want you to cut this strap out. This is where I want you to cut this strap out. This is where I want you to cut this strap out. And this is where I want you to cut this piece out. And I need you to cut it straight the first time. Understand this. This is from the QC. This is your test. So if you can't get past this, I don't need you in the field. So, every welder is supposed to know how to cut those coupons out the uh, strap. Uh, excuse me, out of the... Uh, uh, cut those straps out of the coupon. So I try to explain it to him real quick. I say, look, this is how you do it. You want to hold that Metabo blade straight and make that cut straight down. You get it? Hold that Metabo blade straight. Follow that line straight down. Do not turn to the side or to the other side. Follow the line straight out. Because if, what's going to happen is if you turn that blade, pretty much you're going to end up getting cheese block. That's what your coupon is going to look like. It's going to go come down basically like that right there. You don't want that. It's automatic runoff because now you only got three straps left and he needed what? Two faces, which is the two caps and two roots, which is again, the inside of your pipe. Two straps out of that. So, he goes to cutting on his coupon. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do. He cut his coupon to a triangle, okay, and that was it. QC came over, said, "I told you guys, uh, this is the this is the uh, the test. You got to follow the rules, and uh, we got people waiting. So you're gonna have to get your stuff and uh, good job. You can come back in 30 days. Who got 30 days to wait? Especially when you're making 45, 40, high 30s. I mean, you're bringing home 35, 38, 41." Five thousand a week. I mean, you don't got time for that. So my point is this here: 
what I've come up with is a tutorial to show you guys that's coming in the field exactly how to do it. No ifs, ands, or buts. You need this tutorial, okay? Believe me, because nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants that to happen to, especially if you drive 1,500, 2,500, 600 miles, whatever time you, you, you spend it away from the house, your family is dependent on you, they're expecting you to come through, especially your wife. You know, she want to get this, she want to get that, you want to give her everything, you want to provide uh, the best life for your family. So, you, you can't um, chance it, okay? If you never cut, if you never cut straps out of a coupon, this is something that you need to practice. And this tutorial that I got for you, you need it, okay? Don't let yourself get in the booth and end up like those guys. Don't let that happen to you. So again, I feel as if, pretty much as if it's my job to show you guys. And, and, and I'm, uh, I'm motivated to show you guys. I'm here to support you. Um, I'm, I'm here to answer questions. Sorry about the ones who... Uh, hit me in the inbox and I couldn't get back to you, emails, I couldn't get to all the emails, but uh, I like to try to make videos and tutorials to try to cover all of the questions I get and even concerns that ones have in the field. So look, here's a here's a stainless test I took right here. Okay. Let's see if you can get a close-up on that. You may, you may not, but uh, this is a, a clean test, a clean bin. Now this is a, about an inch and a quarter. Maybe a, yeah, about an inch and a quarter. Could be more, could be less. And this is what you call a. It's going to be a, a face bend. This was bent on her face, which was the cap. We grind the cap off, smooth it out, and we pretty much bent it to see if the integrity of the weld is there, which it is. You don't see any cracks. You can see that pretty good. Uh, there you go. No cracks. Okay, now, this is the common text. This is uh, a side bend out of a, a, a uh, what is this? Uh, this was actually Schedule 80, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was Schedule 80. Um, this was a side bend. So, your strap would actually be um, a quarter inch in width. A quarter inch in width. You would cut one quarter, okay? second quarter, third quarter, and the fourth quarter at the bottom. And what the QC is going to want you to do, he's going, he's going to want you to clean it up. So all this right here, all of, everything I'm telling you pretty much is going to be in this tutorial. To go from your completed test to this. This right here is your finished product. Now and again, some of you guys might see this video and say, look, man, that's easy. I don't need it. Listen, you better invest in yourself. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, you got to invest in yourself. Uh, again, I, I, I stress this over and over. I, I've seen this happen a number, number of times. Um, individuals uh, fail off of something simple. They should have known. When I was coming to the field, back in two, I, I struck my first arc in uh, 2003 struck my first arc in 2003. Okay, I did a lot of commercial, like hospital buildings, so on and so forth. And in uh, 2007, I started going into heavy industrial. Okay, uh, my whole thing was 6010-7018. I was a beast, man. I was a beast. You hear me? 6010-7018. I can run that route with the left. I can run that route with the right. I can cap with the left and cap with the right. Okay, I can use both my hands. I'm left-handed, but I had to teach myself to learn I'm right hand. So again, my whole thing is is, is is trying to get you guys to understand how it is in the field. So I've been through a lot and I've seen a lot and uh, and I and I can and I can attest to it that people get run off for small things. I mean whew, the worst situation real quick the worst situation uh, was uh I went to uh, Arizona. Uh, I think it was Arizona. What a Colorado or Arizona. It's a long way. I come from New York, New York to Arizona, and uh, skipped the small, uh, uh, just a just a small step. He skipped it, and you know what? That was it. That was it. The 
QC said, I'm sorry. Try again next time. Shook his hand. And that was it. Just like that. No if, ands, or buts. You got QCs like that. So again, guys, you need to get this tutorial. Okay? Bottom line, I don't need to go on and on about it. Listen, we all want that money. You put in the time. You put in the hours. Now it's time for it to pay off. And invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. The tutorials. Get them. The website is www.christanner.com. No dot in between Chris and Tanner on the website. It's just www.christanner.com. Listen, get the tutorials. Um, get that particular tutorial for sure. Um, this tutorial right here. Get it. Get that tutorial. All right? It's in your benefit to get it. Don't let yourself get caught and then regret and say, oh, I could have got that information and, uh, and, and, and I could have been out there with CT making that big money. <laughs> All right? So, you know, I'm right now and pretty much uh, I got a few days off before the next job start. Uh, this is shutdown season. Y'all already know. Come on. Come on. I want to see some of y'all out there. I plan on cashing out in about three months. I think about 50 grand. Maybe maybe a little bit less than that. I'll say uh, to be, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, about three months, I'll, I'll bring home about, uh, about 39 grand. 39 grand. So, again, I get a few days off, and, and then I'm going to get back to it hard, and then I'm going to cash out. Right now, and I bought some land out here in North Carolina, and uh, I'm pretty much trying to make sure that my gate, is uh is on point. I ain't got no breaches in the gate, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Let's go see what we got. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. So pretty much, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. I got a few good ideas. I got a few good ideas. But uh, it's on a dirt road. It's pretty quiet out here. Um, I paid about 125,000 for this here. It's about stretch all the way down. It's about uh, 16 and a half acres. You know, I've been wanting to get this property for a while, and I finally inquired it. So got some big things some big things going on and it all come from you know you know welding that box right there you see that box that box right there gets some money that box will get you some money that's why I keep all my welding equipment at all right so listen guys again don't let yourself get caught out there and uh you be sitting there talking about some damn man I should have listened to what he said you don't want to be like that. We all been there, though. You know, when I when I started out, listen, I, I didn't have a lot of uh, uh, guidance. I bumped my head a lot. I bumped my head a lot. Um, I, I made a lot of mistakes that I, I that I do regret. Now that I know what to uh, what to expect now from years of being in the field. I want to share it with you guys. I'm again. You know, uh, I'm here to support you. Uh, it's easy. It's easy money. Whenever you practice, you get the skill down. You hone, hone in on what you love. Um, you have a passion for what you like to do. And again, it, 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 it all, it's all going to pay off. It's, it's all going to pay off, and uh, that's for sure. It's all going to pay off. So you guys got to get on board. Get on board. Uh, here's what we have coming up. We got the 6010-7018. Oh, you guys out there love that and you girls. You better love it because, hey, them pi that pipeline, y'all heard about it, right? Y'all ain't hear about the pipeline? Oh, come on, man. I thought y'all was welders. Yeah. Hey, listen, the future is bright, especially for us tradesmen. And a little word to you pipe fitters. Man, y'all better get it together. Y'all better get it. I just got off a job. Oh, my God. Goodness. Listen, I love you pipe fitters. 
okay? But I, I got to be honest with you. Just because you can pass that NCCR, don't make your pipe bitter. I'm saying it for all the welders out there. You got to... You got to respect the process, okay? Respect the process, please. You got to at least know how to do a bevel. Put that bevel on that pipe right. Respect those old school pipe fitters with one tooth. Shouts out the tattoo. <laughs> you got to respect those guys, man. Even though they talk rough, don't listen to the way they say it. Listen to what they're saying because they're trying to help you out, you young, you young and upcoming uh, pipe fitters. So get the information, guys. Uh... Listen to them, have some respect for them because to be a pipe fitter in the field, uh, it takes a lot, a lot of heart, a lot of courage. They're under a lot of stress. So I'm not trying to bash you new pipe fitters that's out there in the field. All I'm trying to say is this right here. Respect the process, come up the right way. Hone in on your craft, baby. <laughs> because a four, in a minute, believe it or not, in a minute, you pipe fitters, are going, you're already a dying breed. I'm going to just go ahead and uh, uh, put it out there. You're a dying breed. But just like the need for pipe welders is, is, is crucial, it's dire, the same thing for you pipe fitters. It's not that many of you good ones out there. So if you get a good one, man, I tell you, you'd be wanting to hold on to them. So listen, guys, www.christaner.com. Get that tutorial. Get that tutorial. Believe me. Believe me now. It's going to pay off. And besides, not only that, it's easy. It's the easiest way. What I'm showing you is the easiest way. I'm showing you the easiest way to uh, cut straps out your coupon. Easy. No problem. It's amazing the technique I'm going to show you. It's amazing. I'm telling you. You don't even have to pretty much take your pipe down and uh, rotate it to cut it. For some of you guys out there who been cutting coupons for forever been a pipe welder forever the way I'm gonna show you you don't have to cut it down from the position it's in where you took your test you can leave it up there cut all your straps to the point they're ready to come off and then after you got them all cut all four sections cut you make one cut drop your pipe and pull your your uh, your straps right out guys I care about you I'm here to support you I love you each one, teach one, we gotta support each other. And and for some of you uh old school pipe welders out there, share your knowledge. Share your knowledge. Come on, share your knowledge. It, you know, you reap what you sow, right? That's what they that's what the good books say. And and, that, and that's true. So uh, I got to go and uh I got about uh man got a few more blocks in this gate to uh, run down and make sure again it don't have any breaches in it. 